Let's have a look at this question from specimen paper three on crime and deviance. We're looking at a format. So I've written the question out here for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to underline the really important words. So we've got the word outline. And this is important because that will tell you that really what you need to do is just identify with one sentence and briefly explain with another um, whatever the question's asking. It's looking for two ways in which the media... All right, so something to do with the way is more about the process. So what does something do? In this case, what does the media do and what is it doing, which will then give a distorted view of crime? So you're going to get one mark for the way and then how does it distort our view of crime? So let's have a look at the first way then. So we know that the media often will create something called a model panic. And that's where it focuses on an issue um, performed by a particular group, which then um, the, the media then exaggerates, which then will give us a distorted view. And we need to explain what that distorted view is. So we are exaggerating their behaviour. So our perception of this group is more criminal than what it really actually is. And we know that in the case of the mods and the rockers. We're going to have a look at the second way. We know that the media overrepresents certain types of crime, and in particular, street crime. And that distorts our view of crime because our perception is that violence and sexual crimes, for example, or theft is more of an occurrence within society compared to, say, corporate crime. So what we've done there is that we've identified two ways or two processes that the media does, creates a model panic, overrepresents, and then we've explained how does it distort, so how do our opinions of it change? So it exaggerates our perception that these groups are more criminal, and it also makes us believe that some types of crime are more apparent compared to other types of crime. And here's the mark scheme if you want to check it out. Okay, thank you for watching. I shall see you again soon.